or this fun game that I do with um, K, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. It's called Treasure Island. Um, probably seen it before, um, but it's one of the games that my students love. Um, on the signal, what it is, is this is a team. Each one of these circles uh, is a hula hoop, red hula hoop, gray hula hoop, blue and white, kind of what to hold the treasure then obviously these are these stars here are the players on this team players on this team now these stars over here are the pirates who are guarding the treasure island they're guarding the treasure on the island they are taggers and i usually have them have a tag stick and things like that so we're not tagging with hands tagger a tagger and a tagger so there's four now each one of these pieces this uh, red and white ball are like any type of trinket or any type of anything that you can have that the kids could use as treasure. It could be turkeys, it could be yarn balls, it could be foam dice, anything that you got. So on the signal, each team, one person from each team runs to and tries to attempt and to steal a piece of treasure from the treasure island so this guy would go this person maybe would go here and steal this one this guy could go and steal this one obviously um, we would have a lot more equipment in on the uh, island um, or on the mats uh, but this just having only a couple little piece of equipment here for uh, the video Anyway, their job is to run and try and steal uh, the piece of equipment but without getting tagged. Now, get that out of there. So that's kind of what their job is to do. Okay. So get that out. Now, if they will go, we'll take this group right here. We'll just go with this group. So let's say this player runs and gets to right here. They get to right here, and this pirate, let's do this here. Let's make that even better for you. So let's say okay, they get right there. Okay, so that means now the star is here. So if they're right there, let's say that the pirate here, okay, this pirate tags them. So they come over here. And they have now, this person has now tagged this player. They, once they're tagged, so the way I do it, which can get confusing, is if they are tagged, if the runner is tagged by the pirate, then before they grab a piece of treasure, they must go back to their group. Whereas if they grab the piece of treasure and then they are tagged afterwards they get to keep it that's very uh confusing for kids sometimes really have to harp on that rule so if that player was tagged okay that means so we'll get them out of here that means that they would have to return back to their team and then the next person goes kind of like a little relay race so then that person would go we'll get this stuff out of here for you so then that means that this particular player would have to return and then now it would be this person's turn to go steal now the reason i use hula hoops is that if they get their treasure they keep it in their hula hoop and things like that and um these by the way right here are mats these blue squares are the mats which hold the treasure and then i usually put cones here uh, just kind of show the boundary lines to where uh, the treasure island begins. So again, it's constant running, um, some safety concerns, making sure that the kids are tagging nice, not in the face, um, kind of alleviate arguments as if they get tagged and they think that they got the treasure first, rock, paper, scissors. And uh, anyway, more information on this game will be on my blog as well. Thanks.